Passive transport is when materials move across a biological membrane without requiring additional energy. One type of passive transport is called osmosis, and this one is specifically when water is moving across the membrane. So this is different than the solutes moving across the membrane. Solutes are the substances dissolved in the water. Now we're actually looking at the water molecules moving across the membrane. And you just need to remember that water moves into the area with a higher solute concentration. So you can think of it as balancing out, right? Because all the transport and passive transport is going towards equilibrium or being equal on both sides of the membrane um, concentration wise. So if the water is going to balance out the concentration on both sides, it's going to go and dilute the more concentrated side. So you can think of like of that. If it's too concentrated, water is going to move over there and dilute it. Tonicity describes the concentrations of solution compared to each other. And this is relevant for osmosis because the concentrations um, dictate where the water moves. So when we have solutions that we call isotonic, so two isotonic solutions, iso means same, like isosceles triangle or isometric exercises. So this means both solutions have the same concentration of solutes. With a cell, and this is a cell without a cell wall, this is a red blood cell for example, in an isotonic solution the water goes in and out at equal rates, meaning the cell is healthy and it's stable. So this is an ideal condition for cells without a cell wall, like animal cells. Hypotonic solutions are ones that have less concentration than the other solution it's being compared to. So a lower concentration solution is hypotonic to the other one. So a cell in a hypotonic solution, hypotonic means that there's less concentration outside compared to the inside. So if we draw these solutes, so the concentration is lower on the outside what does this mean for water? Well, water moves towards the higher concentration, right? So a little bit of water is going to move out, but most of the water is going to move in. And so what happens is with a cell without a cell wall, after a while, too much water gets inside and the whole thing will burst. And that's an unhealthy condition, obviously. A hypertonic solution. So I guess I should mention Hypo means underneath or below. Like if you have a hypodermic needle, it's below underneath the skin. Hypothermia means you have too little or underneath, you know, below heat. So this is um, concentration below the other one. Hyper, on the other hand, means above or too much. or more, something along those lines. Like a hyperactive person has too much energy, more energy. So a hypertonic solution is more concentrated compared to the other solution. So in this case, the solution is hypertonic, which means it has more solutes, not more solutes, but a higher concentration than the inside. So where does water go? It goes to the higher concentration. So we have some water going to the inside, but most of the water is leaving the cell. So the cell is unhealthy and it'll shrivel and the cell can die. Same definitions for a cell with a cell wall, but the consequences are a little different. In the case of a cell wall, it's providing, it's outside the cell membrane and it provides, um, it's a rigid structure. Um, so it has plasma membrane still and then the cell wall surrounding it. So when a cell is a cell with a cell wall is in isotonic, so this is the isotonic solution, water moves in and out at the same rate, but actually for a cell with a cell wall, it's going to be kind of wilty. Um, it's not all plump and um, 
rigid. So this is actually not good condition. It's an unhealthy condition. We call the cell floppy or flaccid. In a hypotonic solution, which remember means lower concentration of solutes, the water is going to move towards the higher concentration, which is on the inside compared to the outside, which means that the water is going to plump up the cell. Now, we saw in a cell without a cell wall, it just bursts. But since the cell wall is rigid, it holds that water pressure in and doesn't allow it to burst. It's just plump and healthy. So that's different. We call that turgid. That means plump. In a hypertonic solution, remember that means the solution has higher concentration of solutes than the inside of the cell. The water is going to move towards the higher concentration, which is out of the cell. And the cell is going to plasmalize or undergo plasmolysis. So what that means is that you can see the cell membrane, the plasma membrane, is pulling away from the cell wall. So the whole thing is shrinking so much uh, and um, that the cell wall stays sort of rigid, but it, it just kind of sucks in because uh, there's not enough water, um, the plasma membrane. And that's obviously unhealthy. The cell is going to die. So that's the basic information about osmosis and the movement of water across the membrane.